Good evening, everybody. Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland here. We're doing a six box quick hit baseball mixer. It's a random division mixer that features tribute, uh, archive signature series, and an autographed baseball by TriStar. Random and divisions. Big thanks to these folks who got into the action. Here are the divisions. Here's the spreadsheet. Let's randomize each list. 12 times, a full six and a six. 12, the hard way. Man, if, you, if I bet the middle on the craps table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12th and final time. We've got Bill in the pole position and Mark with the number six spot. And the baseball divisions 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. NL West down to the AL West. So here are your divisions. Wild Bill with the NL West, a little Dodger Joe Mojo possibility. Jim Gray with the NL Central. Ryan with the AL Central. Pete with the NL East. Bill with your last spot mojo, AL East. And Mark with the AL West. Um, trades are allowed. I'll, I rarely see trades in random divisions, but trades are allowed. So we're going to pause the video really quick to see if there's any trades when we come back. So stick around. Good evening, Joe for Jaspies Hobbyland here. We are going to do a six box quick hit baseball mixer with baseball in full swing. We've got a nice baseball mixer going to random division break on the 12th, division number one, featuring these six boxes, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. Pumpkin not included. That's our, that's our, uh, our baby one of one kin right here, which we rub for good luck. So pumpkin luck because tis the season, right? Uh, what should we start with? We'll start with Tribute Baseball first. 2016 Tops Tribute Baseball. Nice. We're in Redondo Beach. We're not too far of a drive. I guess we're relatively close compared to some people who are across the country who would love to visit us but can't because you'd have to make a vacation out of it. I'm looking at, you, looking at you, Todd. Todd. Well, no, Todd was on a work trip. That's what it was. No, Todd Reardon was on a work trip. He ended up at our store. For the other, for the rest of you guys, might be a little bit of a. You know, might may require a little more of a planning as opposed to a, a random road trip. <laughs> okay, tribute baseball first. Random divisions. Good luck, everybody. I love the tribute baseball. Big fan of it. What do we got here? So I think we'll start with. Start with the relic right here, Eddie Murray. 62 out of 99. That goes to the AL. This is Orioles, Eddie Murray. Going to the AL East. That would be Wild Bill with the last spot mojo. There's Max Scherzer. And there's Sandy Koufax. Everything ships, obviously. Not too much to sort. 25 out of 50 for the uh, for the AL, AL NL West. That also goes to Bill. Start off with Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, and my nemesis, Raleigh Fingers. We've got a nice Paul Molitor. Nice. 70 out of 75. Paul Molitor. This is Twins version of Paul Molitor. AL Central now. Twins. Obviously, we're going to go with the current divisions. Uh, that goes to Ryan Emerson with the AL Central. Gets the Twins and the Paul Molitor. There's Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox and the AL East and Andrew McCutcheon for the NL Central. Your relic is 32 out of 196, Albert Pools. Nice one for the AL West. That would be Mark. David Peralta for the Diamondbacks and Jim Bunning. 
I'll, t- I'll tell you the story. Remind me to uh, tell the Raleigh Finger story after this break, Brandon. There's Juan Gon Gonzalez, 17 out of 99. Nice on-card autograph. This tribute stuff is really nice. That's the AL West. That goes out to Mark Nyquist. What do we got here? Do we have two relics? Two, two in here? All right. Start off with the base cards first. There's J.D. Martinez. There's Michael Brantley. Indians doing it without Michael Brantley, huh? First one we've got, we'll go with this one. There's Kyle Schwarber. Cubby's moving on in the playoffs. 65, Cubby's doing it without Kyle Schwarber. 65 out of 199 with the pinstripe patch. The holograms, these, these hologram stickers we've seen in Strata and we've seen in uh, Tribute Baseball by Topps. You can look them up online and see exactly where that patch came from. JB318326. Might be an additional story. You know, Kyle Schrober could have gone like three for four that day or something like that. Which would add to the story. Although I've seen somewhere uh, a player hasn't even played. But you never know. So look it up. It's worth looking up. It's fun. And we've got a... Oh, that was just a base card. There's Aaron Nola. I don't know why I saved that. It's been a while since we've done this tribute. All right, next one we have a couple base cards here. Sandy Koufax and Matt Carpenter, and your hit is out of 150, D. Gordon, 93 out of 150. Pulled his uh, White Whale from Triple Threads Baseball last night. Triple Threads Baseball also available on jazbeeshobbyandine.com if you want to get your baseball on. All right, let's go with the 2016 Topps Archive Signature Series. So these are one autograph per box. These are the ones that, that are um, encased in those magnet magnetics already. Usually buybacks, so autographs are on them, and you can get nice low numbers on this too. All right, oh, the D Gordon will obviously go to the AL, or the NLEs. That's Peter Souza. Pete, you have that one. And our first one is nice. More for the NL East and Peter Souza. One out of five. Tom Glavin autograph. Wow, that is nice. From the old uh, Top Stadium Club back in like the early 90s, 93. Huh, that is cool. One out of five, Pete. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Take a picture of that. I'll take a screenshot of that. It looks nice. It's a good shot. All right. Next one. I think we may have enough to do another one of these breaks. I'm pretty sure. I'll ask Nick. Next one is another train whistle. Wow. Five out of five, Andy Pettit. Nice Andy Pettit autograph for the Yankees and the AL East. AL East is Wild Bill. With the last spot mojo. Bill, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Alright, and the next one. Is this another train whistle? Wow. One out of two. Bo Jackson autograph. And that is Angel's version of Bo Jackson. Wow. One out of two, Bo Jackson. A.L. West, Mark Nyquist, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Can you believe that? Three boxes, three train whistles. One out of two, Angel's Bo Jackson. Five out of five, Andy Pettit. And a 1 out of 5, Tom Glavin. Wow. I did, Tim. I was a, I was a tennis player. Um, all right. A couple quick notes on, uh, on what's about to happen right here. The historic autographs as well as the uh, autograph baseballs. Um, just keep in mind that I don't think a team is easily associated with... Uh, uh, with these with these uh, products right here. So what we're going to do 
is uh, if is we're going to use probaseballreference.com. It's a great resource right here. So baseballreference.com is one of our favorite resources. And um, here, let me flip screens really quick. And so we're going to give the uh, autograph to the team they played for the longest. So for example, Roberto Alomar, we're going to use the years right here. So he played five years in Toronto. So if, for example, Roberto Alomar comes out, it'll go to the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, if, if for whatever reason the, the, the number of years were tied, then we'll use the randomizer for random.org. Same with the historic autographs as well. Sometimes the historic autographs, if I remember correctly, they don't have uh, the names of the guys on there. So we may have to do a little uh, a little guessing to see. Not guessing, but we, we have a checklist up there. So we may have to kind of examine that. If it's not readily clear as to who those autographs are, then... Uh, you know, we'll find we'll figure that out off camera, and then we'll uh, we'll announce it in the YouTube video. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, well, let's do the historic autographs first. Friends and foes baseball. Oh, they do have the PSA. DNA information here too. So we have friends right there and foes. So it's a dual autograph. Now I'm not entirely sure who these, can anyone spot these autographs right here? You know, Nick is really the good one who who can spot autographs. Um, is there? A, I'm sure there's a way to look up by the PSA DNA number, right? All right, so for this, for PS, for, for this one right here, AA73096. Let me move that to the screen right here. So PSA DNA AA73096, uh, Dick Allen. And then on the other side, nine seven would be Willie Jones. There we go. All right, so now. This is why I like TriStar because they give you all of that. Uh, they give you all of that info there already. So Dick Allen played uh, for nine years with the Phillies. So that'll go to the that'll go to the Phillies, and they'll be randomized with the other side, which is Willie Jones. And Willie Jones played 13 seasons with the Phillies. So they're both Phillies. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So there's Willie Jones of the Phillies right there on your screen who played for 13 seasons with the Phillies. And then we had Dick Allen again right there. And he played nine seasons with the Phillies. And the PSA DNA uh, AA73097 was, as you see, Willie Jones. And you saw on the previous screen, the other guy was Dick Allen. So there we go. Just a little, a little investigation on these brings us to the Philadelphia Phillies being the victor of these uh, two friends and foes cut autographs.
Nice. Philadelphia Phillies would be the NL East. Peter Souza with that one. Now, the same deal applies with TriStar, although I think they include a little card in there that should give us a clue on who the, uh, on who the player will be. But let's see here. And once again, we'll go by the team they played for the longest. All right. Okay, any guesses? Feel free to feel free to guess. We like doing the trivia here. Uh, in 1989, he was the league leader in doubles. He was part of the first three-way World Series MVP award. I did not know that. And he was a World Series champion. Four-time top five in MVP voting. A 1982 NL Silver Slugger Award. Five-time All-Star. Any guesses? Tim Langston guessing Ricky Henderson. No other guesses, I guess. Here we go. The world that this will give it away. The 1981 World Series MVP. He was 1981 World Series MVP. So think back to 1981. And he was part of the first three-way World Series MVP award in 1981 for the Dodgers. That's Pedro Guerrero. Nice, Pedro Guerrero. There's the, uh, the the authentication sticker right there. I think, there. I think that's all the information. There we go. There, it's right side up. There's the TriStar authentication sticker. There's the Pedro Guerrero autograph. Very nice. In 1981, that was the uh, when the Dodgers beat the Yankees. The, Yankee, the Yankees had beat the Dodgers in the World Series, my Dodgers in the World Series in the late 70s, uh, 1978 or something like that. And... Uh, Tommy Lasorda, the manager at the time, had famously said he famously said that he had prayed to God that he could see the Yankees again in the World Series so he could beat them. And they did in 1981. Go Dodgers. And that's the break, folks. That's the NL West going out to Wild Bill because Pedro Guerrero spent 15 years with or 11 years with the Dodgers before spending his last five with the Cardinals. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your six-box quick-hit random division baseball mixer number one from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining. We'll see you next time. This is Joe. I'm out.